It's 93.9 WKYS and KYSDC.com, Aladdin Prince of the Airways, welcoming you to the palace. And uh, I got a special guest in the building right now, my brother from another mother, man. Yeah. I've just seen this guy grow, grind, and uh, continue yeah. to do his thing, perseverance, and still doing music. Ladies and gentlemen, my brother Nick Sneed is in the building. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I know what to do, Aladdin. Hey, still, man. How are you? I'm fantastic, man. I'm, I appreciate you and, and Lee for flying me out here, bro. I really do. Nah, man. For sure. For yep. sure. For, for those that don't know Nick Sneed, can you just tell them a little bit about your journey and, you know, how you've been doing the music thing for a while and where you at now? For sure. So, I've been doing the music thing, as you stated, for quite a minute, right? So, um, it really started before I even got to Howard University. Right. So I got to Howard and really just got exposed to everything that was going on on the campus. Mm -hmm. um, and it made me say to myself, okay, well, shoot, I want to start put out putting out some music right so i dropped my first project um my sophomore year at howard okay and it was called sleeping giant and that was the project that really got me involved and in the mix my line brother jay murphy passed it off yes to, sir to, yes sir <laughs> shout out to, to the news of course yeah. <laughs> shout out to the news <laughs> yeah so murph passed it off to dj money and money um i don't even think he listened to it at first he just like right. had it on shuffle or something one right. day and then he reached back to to murph because he was working at 93 yeah. at the time and then that was pretty much that started me getting introduced to money. And then from there, I met you. Yeah. I met yeah. Raheem Devon. I met Phil Day. I met a lot of folks that really kind of got me going in the music production world, in the right. songwriting world, and then obviously pushing my own stuff. Right. Well, talking to Nick Sneed. And uh, so for those that don't know, you know, you do R&B, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. When did, you first, when did you first figure out that you could sing? Interesting question. So um, I first figured out I could sing probably when I was about six years old, oh, six, seven nice. years okay. old. You know what I'm saying? My right. mom, she uh, bought me a little cheap keyboard from Radio Shack. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So I had the little $100 keyboard yeah. in my room. And I would just be playing the keys on it and singing. So so my mom, she's actually a singer. Uh -huh. um, my uncle's a singer. He's a gospel singer. Okay. Like, pretty pretty famous dude yeah. you know what i'm saying he's uh pretty well known in the gospel community so i kind of always had singing around me my mom was always harmonizing songs and things mm. so i think you know at, when i was seven years old i just started to experiment singing a little notes i was embarrassed at first and my voice was high uh, you know what i'm saying you, okay. but now i'm transitioning into my, my man voice yeah. you know what I'm saying? so i'm feeling good you feel nice me? nice nice <laughs> well what type of music are you currently making so currently I'm making I would say it's an assortment of, of, of different things mostly in the R&B relationship kind of vein okay but it's it's also like just realistic music that's speaking to my experience I I, I liken it to what like Drake does like Drake he plays mm -hmm. the lane where he makes the R&B music right. but then he got the rap and the bars that right. he makes to kind of speak introspectively about what's going on you know what I'm saying his life and putting his perspective on what he sees going on in his life. Yeah. So I got songs like, um, obviously I put out Quarter Vibe that just came out. That's okay, so that's the, that's the new single. That's the new single. Okay. That's the new joint. Um, and that's really been helping me move on an R&B space. I done, okay. It has been streamed now probably like 3,000 times, mm. less than 30 days, which is nice. incredible considering that I'm, you know, I'm on an indie label, Yacht Club okay. Media. Um, but outside of that, I got these singles coming up with LaQuinn. Um, so LaQuinn is a dude that's from this area too. Right. You know, he had some big songs with Chris Brown and mm -hmm. Nipsey um, so me and Quinn tapped in and made a song called No Pressure and that's some more of a song that's talking about my life experience mm -hmm. so it's like life experience joints and then I got another one that I'm uh, getting ready to put out I've been promoting a little bit it's called Motivated with a Passion with my uh, with my brother <clears throat> another Yacht Club media artist his name is 40 Pack okay. um, so we just been you know, making Virgin. the life experience things, but then making the R&B things too. kind of stand down the middle with that. Nice. OK, so I know you got the singles coming up. Is there anything as far as a project or EP that we can look for soon? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm working on an EP right now. Um, I haven't officially decided like how many tracks I, I, I want to have on it. Obviously, it's going to be less than 10, Okay. probably less than seven or, or right in that range. Mm -hmm. But I really want it to be a relationship based project. I got a real dope title for it, Aladdin. I'm not going to... I don't want to 
gonna drop give it, it on okay, the word. We're not gonna give yet. it to him just you know yet. Okay. I wanna okay. make sure I get it all together. But um it's gonna be a good project where I where it's a concept project. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I wanna I wanna put together a concept that really talks about millennial relationships. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? From start to end, sort of like when you meet a person and you feeling them, all the way to when you running into issues, like the the millennial move playlist yeah, that's what this is about yeah. to be ideally you know what nice I mean? nice yep. well uh, if people want to connect with you on social media and all the digital outlets how can they find you if they want to connect with me on social media and all the digital outlets all they got to do is go on instagram they can go on spotify they can go on facebook uh youtube everything is all nick sneed music so uh nick sneed music on everything you can find me on instagram go ahead on follow me go ahead on follow that me follow on spotify right now. go stream that right now on the spotify <laughs> and all that good stuff you know what I'm saying so, yes, sir. That's me right there, bro. Hey, man, I, I'm glad you still at it, brother. Nothing but continued success. And uh, yeah. I know it's nothing but on the way to the top from here. All the way, bro. My guy, Nick Sneed, right here on 93.9 and WKYSDC.com. Oh, yeah, I know.